Yo, what's up, guys? It's Hayden and Phil from Crossfire Collectibles. And in today's video, we have a mystery package that we just got from the mail. Um, it just got dropped off. We actually have no idea what it is. It's still taped up. So uh, we thought we would go ahead and open it for y'all. Yeah, uh, I have several things on the way that are coming in the mail. Um, this one has a little weight to it. Not extreme weight, but a little bit. But uh, we don't know if it's Jaijo or Marvel. I don't know what it is. But we're gonna open it and be just as surprised as all you. The G.I. Joe and Transformers crossover Ninja Force box set. Still sealed. Got a lot of mess we gotta clean up. As you can see, he's got Scarlet, Dr. Sidney Biggles Jones, Cobra Commander, a green version of Ravage. I think they call this one Toaster. That is cool. Here's your file cards. Scarlet. Cobra Commander. Dr. Sidney Bickles Jones. Didn't want to look at that face as close up. I saw another video this guy was complaining. Sydney Sidney Bickles Jones. She looks like dog sh <laughs> Cobra Commanders, a typical dollar store, and uh, Scarlet. Yeah, not very impressed with these. So but the Scarlet's basically a new body with a Renegade's head. Yeah. And the Rat Bat also fits in the uh, Transformers. Masterpiece Soundwave. Yeah. That's yeah. a Masterpiece Rat Bat. Just repainted. That's cool. All right, yeah, we'll get to opening these. This, so uh, be right back. Let's clean up. All right, guys. So here we go. We're gonna go ahead and get to opening this. Uh, GI Joe Ninja Force Transformer crossover box set. Doesn't look like there's any tape or rubber bands, which is awesome. Oh uh, wait, I'm wrong. Right, so I went ahead and opened the pack. We'll go. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get these stands and. Cassettes out. Hayden, go ahead and take over and uh, go ahead and start with Dr. Piggles. So, they don't have no tape or wiring for her, but uh, here she is. Not the best looking figure. Um, like, there's just no, like, you would think there would be like a belt that separates. The pants or anything but no it's just blue and then just this like reddish brownish maroon color um she actually has the same type of like coat that the uh renegades box set snake eyes came with and uh here's her face not the best looking paint job or sculpt ever yeah she looks i mean compared to the card i mean you know you might have a little bit of a uh... I don't know, some art, <laughs> I guess, in her picture. But that is not what the face looks like. It looks like it's a, um, her head looks like it could be FSS Jinx, re-sculpted. You know, because she has a blindfold. I think it is the same head. Could be wrong. Uh, the blue around the neck looks a lot better than some other ones I've seen. I think there's only one other review of the Ninja Force set on YouTube. But, um, yeah, for the, for the most part, uh, not really a fan. Um, she has this gold colored blaster. She's got her stand, you know, with the Cobra insignia. Dr. Sidney Biggles Jones. Uh, let me see. All right, the feet go pretty well into the pegs on the stand, so that's good. And um, there you go, there's the final product. G.I. Joe. Transformers crossover Ninja Force Dr. Sidney Biggles Jones. 
All right, so next up, um, we have Scarlet here. I'm gonna go ahead and unravel this little wire that they have there. So, uh, and my dad's gonna go ahead and show you all the stands. All right, before I get to the stands, I'm gonna pass this one to Scarlet and her accessories over to Hayden. And I'll go ahead and go over uh, the Megatron hologram. This is kind of cool. It is a transformer. Um, it's not the Megatron sculpt itself. I, I don't know the other Transformers name off the top of my head, but um, it does just have a Megatron head sculpt on him. He does transform into the tank. I'm not going to do it because I want to keep him the way he is, and I'm horrible at transforming Transformers. But uh, he's pretty cool. This guy's a blaster. Um, lots of articulation. Of course, because he's a transformer, mostly with these uh, these ball joints. But yeah, this is meant to be the hologram, like on the cover of the comic that Cobra Commander is talking to. I don't have any of these comics, so I have no idea what the storyline is. But still, I'm a huge G.I. Joe Transformer crossover fan. Um. This is just a, a plus, you know, getting all these figures. Kind of kind of bummed that there are no are no more larger ones. You know, like the Starscream and you know, you got the Shockwave, Destro, and uh they have a conclusion with Jetfire and Hound. And there's also the Battle Continues with Scarlet versus Zartan. That came with Power Glide and uh Soundwave. But yeah, apart from that. Hayden is about to show you Ninja Force Scarlet. And uh, like some of the other videos, or well, I'm sorry, video, that um, the buyer himself, you know, when he was, uh, his name is Dealer Destro, go and give him a shout out, check out his video. He was very displeased in his set, which is totally understandable, especially for the price. Uh, some of the paint apps were messed up. Um, I believe he got in touch with the, uh, the fan club before they shut down and requested a new set or a new Scarlet figure in general. His Scarlet was pretty beat up. There was a lot of paint errors. Um, it, it was just, it was a mess. This one looks, seems to be okay from what I've seen from a distance, but Hayden's gonna go ahead and uh, show it to you now. All right, so from the ones that we've seen, this one is a whole ton better. Uh, the face paint looks really good. Um, still not the best looking figure. I mean, they could have done way better. But, um, she comes with, uh, these little nunchucks. They're yellow. Um, her colors are just, like, they're just, it's just, like, a vibrant set. Like, the colors have, like, no real meaning to them. Um, she comes with these two little swords. And then the sheath for the swords. Jinx actually came with the same thing. And then she comes with these two claws. And, uh, that's pretty much that's pretty much it for her um she doesn't really have that much to her it's actually a repainted renegade's head and uh paint looks pretty good um a little bit of like the thigh separation but we're gonna have to deal with that it's just because it's a little bit older there's the back looking pretty cool but uh yeah that's the ninja force scarlet one Ninja Force figure that I really like is uh, the Ninja Force Zartan. He's probably one of the best looking Ninja Force figures I've ever seen. And uh, I really want to get him, so we're probably going to get him soon. Alright, next up is Toaster. Simple, you know, Autobot style boombox backpack. Um, same mold used for Blaster and Soundwave from the other sets. And comes with its three cassettes here. The cassettes have no no color whatsoever, um, no, like no detail in color. They're just you know simple, you know kind of red colored cassette tapes. He has three of them. Uh, it looks like one can fit in in Toaster himself. Uh, not sure who actually wears this, considering it's got the Autobot insignia. It goes to Scarlet. But she has their backpack with her swords. And, um, but yeah. We're going to put him down. And 
And uh, while he gets ready for the final figure to show in this set, I'm gonna go ahead and show you. If you give me a second, I can actually probably show you. But I'll do that while he goes ahead and shows you the final figure in the set, which is actually a surprise because he comes with something else that we had a little malfunction with the camera. But um, yeah, like I said, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and transform Ratbat into his cassette while he shows you the final figure in the set. Uh, the set also shows, or comes with, I'm sorry, a surprise that we weren't aware of until we saw Dear Old De Dealer Destro's video. Um, if you want, go ahead and check his out. And um, it, it'll show you what we're talking about too, especially with the, the paint mishaps that he had. But until then, here's the final figure. All right, boom. The final figure is Cobra Commander, in my opinion, the best figure out of the whole set, which is kind of sad. Um, He comes with this little holster on the side right here, and there is a pistol in there that you can take out. Um, This flaps up, and then you can remove it. I'm not gonna remove it right now, though. Uh, Back here, he has a little sheath connected to his belt, and it has this cool looking sword, and uh, basically, has a cool looking Cobra hilt, which is really cool looking, and it slides right right back into place. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, sadly he's the best looking figure, but um, he's still cool looking. Really good paint job on him, I think. Cool little idea how they actually have an actual pistol and not one of those fake like little just molded, sculpted on. He has a sword. Uh, I guess it's modeled after the dollar store Cobra Commander. A little bit of uh, thigh separation, but that's all good. Um, he has kind of like a a dark blue, like glitterish kind of finish. I don't know if you guys can really see it on the camera, but it's definitely there. You can see it on his thigh a lot. It's like on his thigh a bit. If I zoom in, you guys can see it. So, yeah. All right, here we go. Um, he's in his cassette mode. I know I did it wrong. We're kind of rushing here, but uh, I just went ahead and put it together real quick like this, just to give you an idea. I'll fix that later, because once we get the sound wave, uh, master, the Transformers Masterpiece sound wave, I'll go ahead and bring this back out, Transformer properly, and show you how this and laser beak will go inside of sound wave. Um, last but not least, well, we totally skipped over him, but this is a recolored Ravage. I believe it's Ravage, however, he's got a Decepticon, I mean, uh, an Autobot uh, insignia on him. You know, compared to the Decepticon Ravage, that looks more like the, com uh, the, the cartoon. He comes with a leash, he doesn't. Um, this one's got some, some paint apps, you know, he's got red in the mouth, red on the paws, the front two paws, green on the back two, green on the rest of his body, black missiles, compared to the Epic Conclusion Ravage. Yeah. I think he would have lo looked a lot better if he was like green, black, and purple. And yeah. like didn't have all that yeah. green or have or the red. Or kind of matching this flag here. That would have been neat. Yeah. We'll get him out of here because he doesn't belong in this set. But yeah. Now, for the big thing that we all got surprised from, we thought you could only get this in one single set. But it turns out they added it in here with like no freaking... No warning that it's going to be in here. Not really a warning, but like, no sign that it's going to yeah, be in no here. Yeah, no sign. They they basically didn't sh tell anybody this was coming in this set. So basically, what we have here is the Megatron pistol. Yeah, if you guys know, since seen some of our other videos, uh, the San Diego Comic-Con first G.I. Joe Transformer set with Starscream and Cobra Commander came with the Megatron gun. However, this was totally new, but this set, the Ninja Force, comes with the same gun. So, assuming this goes with Cobra Commander, I'm going to put him on here. And one thing about that Cobra Commander, his hand falls off very easily. Uh, let's try the other one then. Hayden took him out, I didn't. Uh, it doesn't want to go on. This is kind of hard because I'm actually behind the camera doing this. I can't really see it. But bear with me. And, uh, yeah, there we go. It's on. 
this is a pretty nifty looking Cobra Commander. Hayden collects most of the Cobra Commander figures. I have I have a few myself. Um, we're gonna figure out who gets who in this set. Um, I know I'm taking Ratchet for sure. I'm taking Dr. Biggles, Megatron. Hayden can take Megatron pistol with the Megatron figure. Do you wanna take a toaster? Okay. He's gonna take toaster. And uh, now we have the green ravage. So here's how we're gonna do this. We're gonna paper rock scissor form. Mm. So sure. you're gonna sure. put a hand in. We're gonna right. paper rock scissor for the green ravage. I believe it's ravage. Doesn't paper it? rock scissor. Yeah, we're gonna paper rock scissor for it. Rock paper scissors. Whatever. I'm trying to read this real quick to see if it tells you. Oh, black cat. Okay. So that is not Ravage, it's Black Cat. <clears throat> All right, so, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, four. Are we doing best two out of three or just one? Let's just do one. All right. All right, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. All right, we gotta do that over because yeah, yeah. it's totally messed up. All right. Look, in, look me in my eyes and do it, ready? Right. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh! oh! Okay, so Hayden's taking Black Cat. All right, Ninja Force Scarlet this is the big one because we both want it. We don't know who's going to get it. We're going to paper, rock, scissor for it. Rock, paper, scissor for it, whatever you want to call it. Look right. in my eyes, you ready? Yeah. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Oh! <laughs> Ain't that a B? All right, so whatever. He gets Scarlet, Cobra Commander, Toaster, and Black Cat. I get right back Dr. Biggles Jones and Megatron. Sorry guys, well, hope you enjoyed this one. We're gonna get these out of the way and continue showing what we're doing on Instagram. If you go ahead and check out h1.gi Joe on Instagram, we are doing a, van, a fan voting poll of which figure you want us to open. This is set two of three different sets that we're gonna promote. We wanna see which one you guys want open the most. We have Carla, Doc Greer, Big Lob, and Law and & Order. We're only gonna do one of these three. If you check out the other voting poll, <clears throat> we have Sneak Peek, Raptor, and Fast Draw. And we have set number three coming up in, an, in another video, probably in about a week or so. So I'll go ahead and keep an eye out for that one. So yeah, make sure you use code XXYT for 10% off any order on RogueEnergy.com or Fatal Grips. And follow us on Instagram at Fizz127 and at HiddenXMountain right there right in the middle of the screen but um yeah this was a really cool unboxing not the best looking figures um the most wanted figure which is dr cindy biggle jones is turns out to be the worst figure of all i think scarlet's probably the most wanted you think yeah cool figure sorry guys thanks for watching check us out don't forget to go on instagram vote and uh we'll see you in the next one Peace.